Yeah. What does Tom Hines do? Uh, play the orchestra. I'm Carol Franks, and I first met Tom when there was an opening five years ago for Piccolo and the Symphony, and uh, I met him, and he was just very kind and gracious and encouraging, and uh, I played for him and uh, was accepted into the symphony, and it's just been a great five years to be able to work with him. The opportunity to perform a solo with the orchestra was a wonderful experience, and his knowledge and expertise on uh, Vivaldi was, was wonderful. We're really lucky to have him here in Montgomery. I'm Dennis Herrick. I've been in, in the symphony for my 19th year, just finishing. And I first met Tom when um, I came to interview for Huntington College. Uh, our department chairman invited him to come sit in on the interview. And I played some things, and then I think he started playing Stump the Trumpet Player and just asked for different orchestral excerpts. And fortunately, it was all excerpts I knew, so it made me look really good. He's always been very good at giving us more cues than we deserve. We should be able to count 300 measures rest, but uh, typically he's looking at us when it's time to come in. <laughs> I teach conducting, and one of the things I try and tell the students is you have to take that ensemble and get them to play better as a group than they could ever think of doing on their own. And we've seen concerts where we've had that result. My name is Michelle Goodwin, and I've known Tom Hines for, gosh, almost 12 or 13 years now. As far as the cycling world, Tom is actually the one that got me back into cycling, and his enthusiasm just leached out to everybody that he could talk about with it. Uh, he's just tremendously enthusiastic about it. I remember the first century ride or 100-mile ride that he did. I don't think anybody in Montgomery didn't know about it. He was so excited about it. Congratulations to Tom for the award that he's won. He certainly deserves it. He's a great conductor, great cyclist, and a great friend of ours. He's uh, been a great asset to the Montgomery Symphony. I don't believe we would ever have made it to the level that we are at without him. I'm Gary Smith. I'm the third clarinetist with the orchestra, and I'm also a past president of the Montgomery Bicycle Club, and was involved with uh, some of Tom's first rides. And uh, he's a great cyclist as well as a conductor. Hi, my name is Billy Colley, and I know Tom through the Montgomery Bicycle Club. Tom showed up with a bike that his brother Chris had put together for him and uh, came on one of our early rides. And Tom quickly outpaced the newbies, and in fact, I used to complain that it was pretty bad when the students were outpacing the teachers, and we were all trying to keep up with Tom at that point. Um, I know Tom has done a lot for the symphony, but he's also done a lot for the Montgomery Bicycle Club. Um, it's always good to see Tom on the bike. He's a wonderful rider, and congratulations, Tom, on your award. I'm Joanna Bosco. I was the first administrator of the orchestra through the City of Montgomery Parks and Recreation Department. I, I feel as though I represent so many people who work so hard. We had lined up four conductors, and Tom was selected. He was calm, happy, peaceful, and all I could think of was, please don't leave us at three years, and he didn't. And we have melded together some marvelous programs for the city, for the state, and beyond. Well, can you tell Uncle Tom congratulations on his award? Congratulations. 